Hi YouTubers, thank you so much for tuning back in. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install English version of operating system on the 7 of my A500s. I have bought it recently from Taobao China. This is a Chinese version and everything is in Chinese. Let me quickly show you this. As you can see from the screen, uh, my dash cam is on 1.1.17 OS version. So yeah, let me switch off the camera and take out the SD card and load it with the firmware. And now that the SD card is ejected, I'll be using a micro SD card reader. I'll be connecting this to my PC and load the firmware the english firmware a shout out to the user lizabon from dashcam talk he's the one who provided the firmware the english firmware for this dashcam and i'll be providing the links for the firmware file in the description below so this is the bin file once you extract it you'll be finding a bin file yeah let me quickly download it After downloading and extracting the zip file, you'll be finding this fw96580a.bin file that you'll be needing to copy to the root of the SD card. Let me clear, clear all the folders and then uh, delete them and place the bin file in the root of the SD card. After the file is copied to the SD card, safely eject it and we'll be using the SD card to flash the firmware on the dash cam. The flashing process is quite straightforward. Insert the SD card in the dash cam and then switch it on. The blue light will start flashing, which means the firmware flashing is in process. During the flashing process, please do not remove the power supply or the power cable from the dash cam as it might break your uh, dash cam. So make sure that there is continuous power supply once the flashing is being done. After the flashing is done, there will be a solid red light which starts the booting of your dash cam. Once the booting is done, you will be having an English firmware. One last thing you need to do before using the dash cam is you need to delete the firmware.bin file from your SD card. Let me quickly do that. your SD card to your PC or MacBook and then delete the firmware.bin file and then put the SD card back to your dash cam. Now that you got the English firmware on your 7 my dash cam, you can install the Play Store version of the 7 my app. You can quickly start the hotspot from the dash cam and then connect it. Let's see the process.
This is how you can flash the dash cam with the English version. If you're having a Chinese version, you can't set up the dash cam because you'll be needing a Chinese number to have a 7 my Chinese version app installed and setting it up. So this is the solution. Thank you so much for watching the video. Take care.